What's up? Hey guys, it's Ivan. In this video, I want to tell you everything you need to know about negative keyword match types for both Google and Microsoft ads. So in the first part of the video, I'm going to explain everything via PowerPoint. In the next um, part of the video, I'm going to go in and actually show you inside the Google and Microsoft accounts how to add these negative keywords and where they are. So let's get started. There are currently three of these negative keyword match types, three for Google and two for Microsoft ads. So exact match type are both for Google and Microsoft, phrase is both for Google and Microsoft, and broad is for Google only. But as you understand how these match types work, you'll realize that it's not that big of a deal that broad match is not in Microsoft ads. So let's go to the first slide, which is exact match type. Do click on it a few more times. So exact negative keyword match type means that your exact keyword term must be written by the user, whoever types in Google, in order for your ad to not show. So if you're promoting, for example, if you are um, uh, an, 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 an ear doctor, right, and you don't want your ad to show up for anyone just typing in doctor, um, you would type in this exact keyword match type. As you can see, it's in square brackets, which means it's exact. And it has a little negative sign just before it, which means it's negative for Google. Bing doesn't have that or Microsoft Ads doesn't have that. So if you have doctor as an exact negative match type and someone types in doctor, your ad will not show. Now, if there is any misspellings or any uh, different variations of the word like doctor, doctor, or doctors, right? Plural forms, doc, anything like that, your ad will still show. So you will need to add all these different keyword variations as well. Now, I realize Google recently made a change where their exact match types now include variations and misspellings and similar definitions and stuff like that. That does not apply for negative keyword match types, contrary to what the Google reps might tell you. I pulled up an article on that. Google support has really, really decreased over the years. It is pretty poor now. Uh, most of the time, Google reps will flat out give you an incorrect answer. So really watch out for that. Service has really gone down the drain over the years. Now, that being said, here's another example, eye doctor. Now, instead of just having doctor, <laughs> let's suppose you're an ear doctor and you want to prevent anyone typing in eye doctor, right? Again, these are just examples. Obviously, we know that an optometrist is an eye doctor, right? But some people may not know that and they might be typing in eye doctor because they don't know. So let's suppose your exact keyword, negative exact keyword match type is eye doctor. Only if somebody types in eye doctor will your ad not show. If someone types in doctor for eye or doctor for eyes or doctor for ears or eye doctor, your ad will still show. So if you want to make sure that your ad does not show for people typing in these words, you have to put these in as well. Life will get easier for you as we go through the phrase and the broad match uh, negative keywords. So hold on for that, but just wanna let you know that it does not include misspellings or variations or plurals or anything like that. So to summarize exact negative keyword match types is your word must be alone, only that, that negative match type that you wrote must be present and as a whole, meaning no misspellings, no variations in order for it to successfully not show your ad, okay? That's the general summary of this exact negative match type. So let's go now to phrase negative keyword match type. So as you can see here, I have these uh, quotation marks, which means it's phrase. And again, the negative sign, which means it's, um, it's a negative. Um, don't worry, the first column says exact match type. What I mean is that's exactly what you have. It's not an actual exact negative match type. So if you have doctor as a phrase negative match type, your ad will successfully not show if someone types in doctor or doctor near me, or where is doctor, <coughs> or local doctor, as long as that word is somewhere in the search query, anywhere, that exact word is anywhere in the search query, your ad will not show, okay? But it will still show, again, if there's misspellings, doctors, doctor, doctor, doc, right? Doctors near me. That word has to be somewhere in the query now for your ad to not show. Let's take a look at another example, I doctor. In this case, both these words have to be together anywhere in the search query in that order. So your ad will not show successfully, which is what you want, for anyone typing in eye doctor, or eye doctor near me, or near me eye doctor, or where is eye doctor, or local eye doctor. As you can see, I highlighted in red, because the words are together, that is when they will not show. 
it will still show for anyone for any queries in which these two words are not together. So doctor for ears, doctor for eyes, eye doctor, right? Doctor near me for eye. As you can see, this has the word doctor and eye, but they're not in the same order. And that's the phrase negative keyword match type. So your ad will still show, okay? So your whole phrase negative match type as a summary must be present as a whole and in that exact order for it to not show your ad, okay? So keep that in mind. If you're adding phrase match types and you have things like, you know, eye doctor, which could, some people could say doctor for eye, um, you do have to include both those variations, okay? Um, so it, it, it will not be included, but let's go to the broad negative keyword match type, which, which might make your things a little easier. So the broad negative keyword match type actually is a negative broad match modifier keyword match type. So for anyone that watched my video or knows about broad match modifier keywords, I'll link the video up above if you want to take a look. The broad negative keyword match type is actually the, uh, the, 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 the opposite of the broad match modifier keyword. So it's a negative broad match modifier keyword. It's not broad, okay? I guess they didn't want to make it that long. So as you can see here, I have negative doctor as the exact word that you're going to write down. Um, and there's no quotation marks, there's no uh, brackets, there's no pluses like you do for um, broad match modifier, but it's just doctor. And what this will do is it's the same thing as phrase, <coughs> but now the difference is the words don't have to be in that specific order. So for example, if you look at eye doctor, which is a, a more of a con contrastual example than phrase, now in this case, if you have doctor for eye or doctor eye, the words are different, uh, the, uh, the order is reversed, but the ad will still not show because these two words are present somewhere in the ad, right? So if I go back to my previous example with phrase, as you can see here, Dr. I, for example, does not show. But in the broad, uh, broad negative keyword match type, Dr. I will successfully not show because, sorry, so for the phrase match type, it will show, for the broad match modifier, it will not show because the order of the words doesn't matter. The words, as long as they're anywhere in the search query uh, that the user types in, your uh, ad will still not show up. So this is the most flexible, the most all-encompassing type of uh, negative keyword match type, okay? So in summary, as long as your uh, words that you wrote down are anywhere in the search query, in any order, but as a whole, so there can be no misspellings or variations, your ad will successfully not show, okay? So that's um, what this broad negative keyword match type is. So that's pretty much it for describing these and how they work. Let's go into our Google account first and I'll show you two ways to add it in Google and then we're gonna head over to Microsoft. So I'm gonna close out of that. And here is the article, by the way, that talks about negative keywords. I can link that your way, but here's the important point it says that negative keywords will not match to close variants or other expansions. So unlike regular exact match keywords, for example, where it will match to close variants, it will not be the case for negative keyword match types. Okay, so I can send this to you if you want, um, but let's go to our Google account here first. So here we have our piano lessons ad, which we paused. So let's click on this. So you're gonna go to your campaigns tab. You're gonna click on your campaign. You can click on your ad group or just go flat out to the keywords tab. Um, and so there's two ways of doing this. One is you can go to negative keywords and you can simply add. So as you can see here, I added a broad, a exact and a phrase, right? So if you want to add some more keywords, uh, let's say, you know, we say doctor, right? Say doctor and um, Right, so uh, r right now what I did is I added the, the same keyword in three different variations, broad, exact, and phrase. So if I add this, as you can see here, now what you can also do is you can also click on this, click on any or, or a, a group of them if you want to, but I'll click one for now, and say change match type. So right now I can change it from broad to, for example, exact, and I can click on apply. And now this is gonna be exact, so it's gonna be the exact same as this, so it just removes one because now there's two. But that's the, 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 the other way how you can do it. Now, one more thing you could do with Google only is if suppose you are adding a bunch of keywords and you don't want to then go to a different negative keyword tab. You want to add everything all in one. What you can do here, so let's suppose piano, right? 
piano near me and then you know you don't want to include the words like uh, uh, piano in in New York or whatever right so in this case I could say you know piano in NY so as you can see I have a little negative there and if you know I can make it an exact match type as well so I just added a broad and an exact and here if you want to add phrase you do this piano in New York okay so you can do this from the keywords tab or the negative keywords tab so I'll click search and as you can see here so I added some of the positive keywords and then if I go to the negative keywords tab as you can see here there's piano in New York exact piano in New York uh, broad and piano in New York phrase okay so that's how you do it in Google Ads in Bing Ads or Microsoft Ads let's go to say piano studio again campaign we can go to the keywords tab or we can just click on this ad group as well many different ways to navigate through here now Microsoft Ads you cannot actually add um, negative keywords through this way so if I type in negative free <coughs> and I click save it, 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 it adds the keyword negative free okay so you don't want that so I'm just gonna delete that and uh, we do have to go to the negative keywords tab and in Microsoft Ads there is only phrase and exact right so I can write free and I can write free as exact okay and let's suppose we don't want these and if you want to change them as well you can click edit uh, edit selected rows and just change the match type here to whatever you want okay and if I click exact it might not let me save or it, yeah so so it just removes one so that's how you do it that's the whole idea behind negative keyword match types you should now understand how exactly they work and then how to add them and even how to remove them right you just select this and you delete uh, from your account I hope this was helpful for you if you have any questions let me know down below if you enjoyed this video you might like my other videos uh, and my playlists on Google and Facebook ads I will put the links up above somewhere here so take a look at those it's an entire playlist teaching you how to create these accounts from start to finish you can make fully um, optimized and profitable campaigns so thank you so much for watching I will see you in the next video